channel so you guys already know what today is gonna be about I am like three years behind on this palette not really um, but I believe it's been out for like at least a month I got it like weeks ago and I haven't used it yet so today is the day for me to film I haven't filmed in weeks um, so let's do it your noises my dog is right here um, <laughs> he's laying with me and he makes this little pig noises. So my hair is looking whack. I don't even care. We're just going to get to the filming. Like, I just can't. Like, these little pieces. I tried on a new hair tool and it's just, I mean, part of it looks good and the other part it doesn't. Um, my hair's been just so weird lately, so I haven't been able to deal with it lately. So we're just going to ignore it. I mean, what is, what is that? <laughs> we're just going to ignore it. I'm ready to film. You guys probably already heard or seen this collection and I'm so excited about it. It. So I am wearing the jacket that it came part of the collection today. I love this jacket. So for one, I am obsessed with stars in general. That's like my go-to. Like if I was like a symbol or shape, I would be a star. Of course, that's like another reason why I love Jeffree Star items because they always have a star on them. I love bomber jackets. So I'm going to insert a clip right here of the jacket. It is so beautiful. It's got the beautiful, like obviously star on it and it has a zipper it's very silk feeling and it fits perfectly this is a small I'm the kind of person who wears like smalls and mediums and this fits perfectly and showing a clip to you guys I also got the hat which is really really nice very pretty um, I'm not fully into the style of it like I feel like the top long bill part of the hat if that's what you call it is a little bit too wide for me but I still really like it and here is a close-up of the palette um, very pretty let's look at it so the palette came in this cardboard cardboard like you know it came in this packaging this is what it came in um, I think it's really pretty really you know it's pretty but it is a little bit too bold it's a little bit too big personally like for my vibe but it's pretty I would like to kind of cut off this part of it it, the top part and just kind of hang it up on the wall or something like that now we are gonna go ahead and get into the palette so as you guys know there's probably like a little bit of drama on this palette because everyone expected it to be full of purples and that is not the case but the outside of the palette is so so pretty um, this alone the packaging alone really just makes up like everything about this palette. It is so pretty. The velvet, I am wearing like a velvet shirt. You guys probably can't tell, but I love velvet. Um, so this is so pretty. This is something like I wanna just put up on my shelf and just keep out like that. So we do have, the way you open it is this clasp and um, it is magnetic. So let's open her up huge mirror I mean the mirror is great um, everyone likes mirrors in their palettes and I do but I don't care about it like this because I'm not gonna be holding the palette looking in the mirror like this um, well maybe maybe I'll just pick it up and try to look at it um, this mirror is like so big like the biggest mirror I've ever seen on a palette and it's like very clear like it looks better than my mirror that's in front of me so inside the palette everyone did expect more purples Clearly, there is not a lot of purples in it. We do have like this one, this one, you know, this kind of purple. This is like kind of a purple. Same with this up here. Um, but we did expect more bold purples. Um, I did expect that, but truly, um, I don't care too much. I think the palette is beautiful and it looks even more beautiful now that I have it in front of my hands. I will create more looks using this. We're only gonna be doing one look today, um, but I just literally wanna dip into every single color in here. Um, my favorite color, like looking at it, is this one. It's so pretty. And then same with like these two, not really pastels, they're kinda like, I don't know, those colors. Obviously those shimmer shades, like everything in here, I wanna mess with. So I did my makeup off camera, of course. Um, did everything except highlighter. We have no highlighter on, but I um, didn't get the one part of the collection, but I already had this one. Um, this is the Jeffree Star Extreme Frost Lick My Glit um, Highlighter. So this is like, this was like $50, and my mom bought it for me 
personally I wouldn't pay $50 for this um, but she did buy it for me and I do love it so we're gonna go into this brush here we're gonna take the Dalton prepping perfector brush I'm going into it pretty heavily and we're just gonna put it all over the face So I'm also going to take it down the nose, um, not too much just because it doesn't, this isn't the kind of highlighter that looks too good down the nose, but I am going to put it there. I really just want to be very bold today. This is the kind of highlighter that is very glittery. So basically it's just like putting pure glitter on your face. It's not like like a frosty, well, I don't want to say that, it's not like a very smooth kind of highlighter it's not meant to be it's very glittery like this is the kind of like shit you wear when you're going to a festival or if you're just trying to be you and do what you want so as per usual when i start filming i have no idea what i want to do that's just something that always happens to me i want to do something very bold and i'm sad that i don't well, not sad. I could do it, but I'm not going to. I want to use like every color in here. Um, so I will be filming separate videos because, I mean, these all look very fun. So I don't know if this is going to work, but this is what I'm doing. I'm taking, I don't have like super clean brushes right now. I'm taking this. It's already got a purple on it, but clearly wiping it off. It's not going to take any other colors on it. So this is the Dalton Buff Blender Brush. I don't know if this makeup look is gonna work out what just went into my head, but we are gonna do it. So I'm taking this and dipping into the color High King. It's a very pigmented color, so I'm gonna tap it off in front of this so it doesn't get all over my desk. And, geez, I haven't done bold makeup in forever. So let's see, tap it off. I'm gonna start putting it literally only right here in the middle. Don't know if this makeup look is gonna work. Ooh, okay, that looks really pretty. That is a very pretty color, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna keep building it up. I'll probably go back into it um, in a minute. Um, after I put all the colors into it, I'll probably go back into each individual color to fully build it up again, as I normally do. But right now, I'm just kinda softly blending it, not too heavily blending it, but just keeping it in the middle of the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered Brush. Um, it's a blending brush, kind of flat. At the I'm going into the color Scandal Water. This is like a blue shade, but it kind of has like a purple vibe to it. Um, so I don't know. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to be packing this on the outer part. Um, I did expect it to be a little bit darker, but that's a really pretty color. It's like kind of pastel-y. Yeah, that's pretty, working out really good. So I'm packing it into this outer part, and then I'm going to bring it into the inner part as well. Already got some fallout, not the end of the world, um, although like most people do hate fallout. Um, I don't see why anyone would like it. Um, it's not the biggest world. It's not the biggest problem because you could always just do your foundation and base last. I personally don't like doing that. So yeah, this color is really pretty, especially these two colors together. Yeah, I don't have a shade like this or like that. My dog's over there scratching the carpet, laying in the sun, trying to get comfortable. So that's why you hear all those weird noises. So as you guys can tell, I have hooded eyes, so I kind of like to raise my eyes up. Looks kind of weird, but I like to do that to fully get it into the crease. Just a tip if you have hooded eyelids, it kind of helps put everything together. But yeah, I really don't have colors that look like those two colors. So, so far, looks good. I don't know how this is going to look over here. So let's see, kind of blend it all together. Evan, stop, dude! So I'm going to kind of create like a halo eye kind of thing. I don't know. I was just trying to pick the colors I was going to use first. So let's see. Just kind of bling them in. I am going to take that first color again. Just packing this color first. So I'm wiping off that brush and I'm going to be taking my palette's all messy, but I'm going to be going into the color Deviant. And I'm taking that to kind of just softly um, blend it out right here and on the inner corner. 
and then I'm gonna go back into the first color. I'm just kind of, and then I'm gonna go back into the second color and just kind of using it to diffuse it. It is gonna wipe it away, of course, but just going into it for the like top creasy part of it, if that makes any sense. Just giving it like a soft, diffuse look. I'm back into the Scandal Water color. And I do like this color. It's bluey purple, so it's a definitely a unique kind of blue. Like a blue purple. like how that lighter um, that color deviant really fades and blends out that it's a code again scandal watercolor I really like how that like blends together I'm keeping it round and I'm gonna go back into that scandal watercolor but it is so like it looks so good blended together Okay, so we are now going to take that same first brush and that same first color, the color High King, and now I'm going to, of course, tap it off again and start packing on that color, making sure it blends into that bluish purple color, just making sure it's bold, um, you know, colors fade, and I like to always do, like, multiple layers with my eyeshadows. Very bold, clean brush. I'm going to kind of go through to make sure it's blended, like those two shades are blended together. So I'm going to pick up that, that Scandal watercolor again and just kind of lightly fade it into each other. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to take like the smallest brush ever. This is the AOA Studio E134 brush. I'm going to go into that Deviant color and I want to, and I'm taking this big old palette mirror, I want to very much, like I really want to kind of blend it as close as I can to the brow, so kind of fade it up there. Don't know if that's gonna work, but let's see. So I'm gonna do that with the entire, all the colors. Yeah, it worked. Pretty, pretty simple, not too much work you have to do. I'm gonna try to use as many colors as possible. So I'm gonna take this crown brush, it doesn't have a full name on it, but it's just a flat, kind of like thicker brush. And I'm just taking this and going into the color Vivid Mood. I'm tapping it off and I'm just going to lay it on the lid pretty heavily. I'm not looking for too bold. Obviously that is like a pastel shade. But I'm going to try to do something. So I'm going to kind of give like a lid color. Give it like a little base of color. And it looks great right there. I do like that color. That color is really nice. Okay, so let's see if this works. I'm going to go into the color Pink Magic, which it's actually not pink. It's more purple. Like it's more of a purple shade, but it's called Pink Magic. So I'm taking this. Don't know if it's work, but I'm going to start putting like on the middle of the lid and start bringing it upwards. So kind of bringing it up here as well. Let's see how that works. Don't know how it's going to look. Let's see. Okay, so the color is very pretty. Very unique colors. Like, I thought it was going to be a little bit more sheer, which is not what I wanted. I wanted it to be pretty bold. So I am happy that it's not sheer. A lot of times when I see freaking shades like this, they're always so sheer. And honestly, it kind of gives me the same... Whoo, kind of flaky a little bit sometimes. But it kind of gives me the same vibe as the highlighters do. Just a little bit more texture different but the same kind of glittery look so bringing it up all the way packing this hoe on pretty high up and I'm gonna cry like right now I kind of have it crooked so I'm gonna kind of straighten it out a little bit okay I vibe for that um I didn't know how that was gonna turn out I did expect it to be a little bit different but I do like that I'm trying to pack it on pretty well Okay, girl, what's up? A little bit of fallout, not too much. My face is basically really glittery right now anyways due to the highlighter. Okay, that fades in very well. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And you know what I just realized? I didn't even take an item shot 
like photo of this palette. I'm so mad right now. I always like to take like, even if I don't post, I'm always like to take pictures of the palettes and makeup that I get before it's like used. My bad. Okay, so I'm really liking how that looks. I'm gonna do the same thing and just go into the color Wet Jewel. And I'm taking this color and kind of placing it on top. Seeing if it just, I'm not gonna rub too much with it, just a little bit, but seeing if it just kind of adds like a little bit more brightness to it. Yeah, it's adding a little bit more brightness to it. I don't want it to be like too over the top, kind of patting it in. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna take this brush and go into the color Blood Queen. I'm using this color just a little bit right here next to all those like glitter shades we just used. Not too much of it, but just kind of packing it in to kind of blend it right there. I just wanna use like, obviously like as many colors as I can use. So just adding it there. I wanna keep that blue shade still showing. Okay, so I'm going back into that shimmery pink magic shade and I'm just adding it a little bit more and kind of just detailing it right here. Um, and just, yeah, just adding it on the eyelid again. And I'm using a brush, obviously. I'm gonna see if this works as like a highlighter in our corner. So I'm gonna go into that wet jewel pink color and just place it right there. Yep, that looks good. So definitely like the same kind of formula as the Extreme Frost highlighter. I'm gonna go in with this AOA Studio E139 brush. So it is a flat brush, but it's got a little bit of a like thick blendness to it. I'm gonna go into Blood Queen, which is that deeper purple shade, and I'm just gonna start blending this under the eyes. Now I'm gonna go into the color Vivid Moon, which is a shade right next to it. We did use it earlier, that pastel-y purple shade, and blend it. Okay, so I'm back off camera because this look is focused on the palette and the collection. Um, I took the NYX Cosmetics Love Lust Disco Epic Ink Liner, drew on some winged liner. Then I took the Tarte um, Sea Surfer Curl Mascara, put it on the top and bottom lashes. And then next up, I took the Buxom Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Call Me. I put it on the lower, like, I put it in my waterline, and then I accidentally messed up and got it on, like, the lower lash line area. So I just took that brush and didn't add any extra color on it and just smudged it on both sides because that was my mistake, and I actually really like that smoky kind of vibe. Okay, so time for the lips. I'm going to be taking the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Serve. So this is a nude shade. I'm going to put it on my lips and then we're going to go in with that gloss. Okay, so now that has dried down, I'm going to be taking, this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics part of the Bloodlust collection, the gloss, and it's in the shade Lord Star. So we are just going to take this over it and see how it looks. Okay, so that is so pretty, like such a pretty color. Um, those two colors look beautiful together. So my mom did buy like the lightest shade of the gloss and I did try it on just on bare lips and it looked so good. In the sun, it was sparkling so hard. So I'd love to go see this in the sun. It looks so pretty and I love Jeffree Star's glosses. They have such a beautiful like taste. To them and such a beautiful feel to them as well it's not too bold so I can honestly just wear it like by itself on the lips on days I'm not being very bold just daily so packaging is on fleek this is a one this packaging is so cute I love it okay so this is the final look I am very happy with how it turned out um, I might try the, doing the whole like glitter shimmery thing up in the like higher up, not just on the lid thing, because I never do that, but I really like that I did that. It looks very pretty. The colors worked so well. I love the shades in this. I love the packaging. I really do. I think this palette is so pretty. Definitely worth the money. It just It's worth the money just for the package, honestly. Um, but in general, the shades in it are so beautiful. I can't wait to use it more. And I'm so excited that I finally filmed a video and filmed this 
palette review. So this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know down below in the comments what other kind of items you would like to see me film with, what other kind of videos, what kind of tutorials, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video.